Hi. Hey, girls. <laughs> it's us hey, again. Girls. And again and again. Um, where Ooh, I wanted to. I wanted to. <laughs> well, first, first okay. I wanted to say something. Um, to address the elephant in the room, I'm missing a tooth. Don't talk about it. I know it's going to show in that angle specifically. Don't talk about it. I've got a lot of mouth stuff going on. Um, my orthodontist requested one of my fake teeth be taken out for the next few weeks. So just please pardon. Please Thanks don't so be much. disrespectful. Um, and yeah. Since we're on it, I need a lash fill on this side, not this one. Well, yes. So it's um, only your business if you look on the wrong please side. Please be gentle with us today. We're going Honestly, through a lot. Honestly, Trent's We're so going through really a lot. So Yeah. We're so like, so mm. where have you been, Queen? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I went to a festival that I was so excited about and um, something so silly, goofy and funny happened to me because it always does. So I went to the Love and Life Festival in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yes, North Carolina. I've never been there before. It was kind of cool, kind of clean, kind of beautiful. To be honest, I was loving life there for a few days. Um, <laughs> well, yes. And we got the tickets. Me and my friend went and we got the tickets because um, Noah Khan was going to be there. And honestly, if I could have just went and had like good seats at like a Noah Khan like concert, I would have done it. But um, it just added up better to go to this one and see Post Malone and Stevie Nicks and all the things. So um, but I had like an ongoing joke the whole time of like, I'm going to get VIP because I have really good concert luck. Mm -hmm. Like every mm -hmm. single time I go and like if I'm not like shooting it like for work, then I'll go and I'll buy like a $50 ticket and be sitting in a $2,000 ticket. Well also, well, also she came to my house like a few days before you left and we were manifesting her meeting Stevie Nicks Noah Khan and yeah. getting it was like, really doing my duet getting like with a, Noah Khan. exactly yeah getting brought on stage while Stevie yeah. Nicks is singing Silver Springs you know right. anything we were really manifesting because she does have good concert looks so we were like you're gonna I be do there. it's like it's stage. actually like outrageous well because my theory is sometimes if you can't get the experience of being up close I would rather like try to do that and like if I were to get kicked out which I never have and never will um i can Knock just go wood. have fun i can there, just this, this isn't even real this is, is marble. anything it doesn't wood? That, okay. that, that would never happen <laughs> to me um if it does we'll make a shirt out of the mugshot um but anyway yeah so whatever i would rather like try my luck and like try to get in first and then like ask for forgiveness than permission and okay. usually it always works out um but we were on day two at this point and like we were in general admission and like you know living like like the regular folks do and it, and it was fine because it was still such a fun time mm -hmm. like it the weather was good my outfits were so good and the company that I was with was good like every 30 minutes maybe mm -hmm. um so it was amazing um and then on the third day was the Noah day the day that everybody was waiting for the day that I wasn't even gonna drink for because I needed to I needed to tune you need in. to be 100 I needed to be there she was locked in she needs to lock the, fuck <laughs> in, the no. lock in factory called I was, I was there <laughs> and um and so we were there and we got there around like one stayed all day Noah doesn't come on till nine o'clock obviously Poppy gotta come on late and so um we went to just like go walk around for a second around like three also given the festival was posting this whole weekend about like whoever has the best outfits like you could potentially get meet and greet or get mm. upgraded and i'm thinking like if y'all didn't upgrade me on day one everybody was sucking my schlong for real about my outfit and like if that didn't get me upgraded i was kind of like you know what i'm not gonna get upgraded but it is what it is it's fine I'm gonna knock some people down to get there <laughs> um so whatever but we went and walked around it was like I remember it was literally like three o'clock and this guy walked past and he was like hey and I was like oh hey keep in mind I was like talking to my friend we were like shoe checking people like you know like right. interesting to have no, the dogs right, out right, with right, all right, these right. people you know um just because festival having the dogs out it is very bold because like them toenails they're gonna be gone um so this guy walked around and he was like hey and I was like hi and he was like who are you here with I had to think about it. Uh -huh. Anyways, and I was like, I'm here with him. And there, he was like, well, who are y'all excited to see? And I was like, Noah, like, we got the tickets just for him. And he was like, well, why are y'all not watching it from VIP? And my head said, I know what's happening right now, God. I know what's <laughs> happening right now. I know what's happening. I'm going to shit on myself, God. And so um, he was like, here you go. Watch it in VIP. And gave us two wristbands because you had to have a wristband. Okay, right, wait, do you have it on right now? Is that the wristband? Um, no, this is the one That's that I need to cut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, this is the general admission. For um, the poor people. It really, it, <laughs> peons, really. And so um, we put it on and I gave it to my friend. I was like, hurry, put mine on, put mine on, put yours on before it disappears, you know? And so we put them on and I'm like, let's motherfucking go and i'm like i can't and you wait know so what? what's Part the difference between watching a vip and watching a general mission like how close were you what's the difference <sighs> we're gonna you know how you guys are always so mad because we don't insert a video 
We're going to insert a little five second clip from <laughs> gen, from the peasant watchers <laughs> to where mama was. Because it's a difference, girl. Okay. So, um, anyway, let me tell you all the differences. So, so then we start walking and my friend's looking at me. And you know what? Part of me, I feel like these kind of manifestations happen. You know how they're like, say it and then let it go. Forget about it. Yeah. It happened. And like, if it would have happened on day one or two, I would have like not believed it. And to be honest with you, not to sound entitled, but whenever it started to happen, he was like, watch it in VIP. I was like, it's happening. Like, I was like, <laughs> finally, I was like, you're three seconds late, God, you know, like, exactly. it, was, yeah. it was really supposed to happen. And it was. And we started walking in and like, I took a little video. It was crazy. And then I'm standing there. We're in VIP for le- two seconds. The Beach Boys are about to start playing. Mm-hmm. OK, well, and yes. then next is like Noah. So we're in there and I turn around and I go, <laughs> wait a damn minute. I was like, is that Madison Beer? And my friend doesn't know who Madison Beer is because he's a little bit old guy, okay? He's, he's a little a man. old guy. He doesn't know. He's just a man. And he goes, I don't know. And I go, well, I'm going to go see because, like, I do. I like the girl, okay? She was really supposed to be in that fucking she video. She was and, in the video. And I fun. like her. Um, And I do have a few songs saved. I sound like Kanye whenever he's like, I like like a few Gaga songs. What the fuck what she the know fuck about she do, uh-huh. <laughs> Um, But I know a little bit of some about Madison, okay? And I like, guess not enough to really know. But, you know, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, I turned you know around for having a second. You know, yeah. Yeah. And so um, I turn around and I go up to her and I'm like prancing around and I'm like, hey, you look like Madison Beer. And she <laughs> You're go- crazy for fucking saying that. Bitch. OK, but what if I would have been like, hey, Madison, like, bitch, I'll take the you look like over that. But like- she could have done that anyway. She could have been like. That's weird, whatever. She goes, oh, it's because I am. And That's I was so like, real. As a niche, not to cut you off real quick, but to <laughs> cut you off real, okay. real quick. As a niche micro celebrity, mm-hmm. when people come up to me and they're like, you really, has anyone told you you look like. Let me tell you this, though. Let me give you and this. And I just go like. Let me tell you this, though. <laughs> With her, I think it's fine because she does not have a distinct feature if someone saw your curly hair and you're that little with your curly hair it's not looking I like guess, you are but like madison beer i don't really know anybody else that looks like madison beer that i would be like you kind of look like madison beer like i'd be like maddie hey okay girl. if she had two braids in and a baseball cap like i don't know it was just it honestly you know she looks like everybody in vip because the weather was nicer over there. The food was better. The streets were better. Life was better. But what is that? And everybody. <laughs> she was better. My clothes yeah. better. So, um, so anyways, I'm like, hey. And so, like, we took a photo. Um, <laughs> because the way that I look right now is disrespectful to who I am as a person. I'm going to insert actually a few festival fit outfits. You can drive all night. Because um, I don't know what happened. But anyways, she was super cute. Um, and then we talked a little bit about the Beach Boys because they brought some younger girl on stage and kissed her. It was so weird that they kissed. Yeah, the I know. The Beach Boys brought a... Okay. Me and her were too stunned to speak. How old are they? They're very old. They're, sort of- they're daddies. Well, they are pawpaws. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, that was it. Met her. That was fine. And it w- really was funny because the drink selection was different. The porta potties were like extra large. It life was better in VIP, and I just want to say that that's like was disrespectful. <laughs> that was so fucking disrespectful that like I was living regular. You were living, <laughs> yeah, with the regular. And I will civilians. say like if you're ever considering buying like a VIP thing for a festival, you should do it because it's so worth it. I also think that with this festival, maybe it got lucked out because this is their first year doing this, okay. so I think everybody's kind of learning like okay, VIP's worth it. So maybe next year VIP won't be. And I'll, I'll just, be there next. I'll year, just right? perform with you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's it and it was a great time and i'm still <laughs> waiting on my duet with noah um but you know sometimes it's good to watch from the audience and how was stevie, stevie right? she was really good um it started raining during her set um that's so magical though i know it's beautiful. thunder only happens when it's raining and Amen. it was and i've always said that too. i've always fucking said that <laughs> okay go ahead bring yeah, it in so we got out. some guilty pleasures um we've been doing like the overrated underrated type stuff and this is kind of just another version of like what we think is underrated but yes it is these are my guilty pleasures the reason i thought to come up with this is because last night i was i think it was the first i was indulging i was indulging in that very first one last night actually as i and that's what i thought about um i was on the plane whenever you typed this and the only thing that came up was the first two words and i was so scared (laughs) um so let me go ahead and read it it's fake fake dentist kids toy asmr on tiktok let me explain we're gonna also insert i'm gonna insert a video for real this time please excuse our technical difficulties on the last video we insert the, right. the brand is like the melissa and doug like the kids toys that they make like the fake doctor and the fake dentist and the like fake 
chef stuff the little fake kitchen and everything but they have this specific like fake dentist toy that's like a fake little mouth and it has a little retainer and like i think i've seen that with the like little the clear teeth. retainer and then the little braces you can put on it um they have like a fake toothbrush mouthwash thing i don't know y'all but i eat that shit up so good there i think the video i'm gonna insert the the literal username is like blue gloves asmr or something and she's like You're i don't know no now. bitch it's so good you have no idea for like the last two years i've like been obsessed with watching those videos and actually there's um at the barnes and noble like close to our house <laughs> they have the toy. they sell the fucking toys only like 30 bucks she wants and for her i've so no bad. i She's want it so fucking bad and here's the thing is at my big fucking age i'm about to be 24 years old and i'm like i want that fucking dentist toy so bad one i haven't gotten it because where do i put it when i'm not playing with it like where do i put it? two who's gonna play with me nobody girl i don't know send me a and video like and that's why that's my them. guilty pleasure because like i should be embarrassed by that and i am a little <laughs> and that's why i won't buy the toy but like genuinely i stay up i was up to like 2 a.m last night scrolling through the whole accounts videos like they're so it's so good y'all y'all have no idea um yeah i've never i don't think i've seen like the toy i didn't know they were like making no videos it's so like good that. i don't know something about you're like playing ASMR. with the like i really i love a good asmr but the dentist i don't know something about like a kid's toy those kids toys where gonna you can get like, you every time it's gonna get me every time the kids toys where you get to pretend like you're an adult is so much fun like i want to play so bad and then you become an adult and then you want to pretend that you're a kid it, it really makes so much sense. exactly that's what i'm saying like hello also i don't know if that has anything to do with my own mouth problems like let me you know what like let me Maybe. be the let yeah. me s- roles reverse let me be it's the, the authority one fucking with the teeth. Teeth. right yeah. right i want to take my power back i want to yeah. reclaim that- my teeth anyway um my next guilty pleasure the dirty girls can relate to this we have never been clean girls i would never claim to be a clean girl ever in my life um me personally i love to eat in my bed love to eat in my bed there's nowhere more comfortable to have a meal than in my bed also i think that's because my room meal or snack all, both all of the above like anything Breakfast, lunch, i don't go and fuck i don't go fuck i'm tucking myself in and i'm eating it i don't care chips i'm eating it and they're gonna be all right here and i don't give a shit and they are gonna be on my sheets and they i've are came gonna to her house it. enough times to be like hey i'm sorry like i needed it and she's like just get on the bed I'm like, <laughs> she's take like don't take those shoes get off put them under the cover <laughs> not that y'all know because i actually took a nap with my jeans on in my bed the other there was no reason i could have taken my pants off i just <laughs> and no, i was out the if they were they were outside it's clothes like what, too okay, like i was what outside brand were the jeans that were that good you could nap in pack sun they were like Earth second on. day worn you know when they're just like they're like comfy and like a little mm-hmm. bit loose and baggy they there's were, no way that you'd have a muffin top in those because they've kind of no no fucking way they like i have to like pull you them my butt cracks still like look skinny my now. butt crack is almost hanging out every time i wear them bitches but i i was outside like outside <laughs> outside <laughs> girl no, you like I, to be honest you would have loved it Shut no up. okay if it's fully out i'll accept it if it's a little bit just the, something just about tip. that i can't do. just the tip of my <laughs> the tip of the crack just the tip of the crack um <laughs> anyway love eating in my bed and i talked about that last pot with the meatballs i ate those meatballs in my bed so she's um, a woman of truth to be honest and there are crumbs in my bed and i'm gonna be honest i do wash my sheets a regular amount because i do eat in my bed so i'm not that disgusting but i will sleep on the crumbs and they will exfoliate my skin um <laughs> that sounds good to me my last guilty pleasure i don't feel that guilty about i'm just a girl is sleeping with a stuffed animal every night um some of you will get it some of you will not and that's perfectly fine with me but me personally i have this build-a-bear frog stuffed animal that i got like three years ago and get it for yourself no it doesn't really matter who got it for me it's not important (laughs) but that's shut the fuck but that's my baby um i'm a single mother let's just put it that way i'm a single single mother but and do um and i provide and he has a deadbeat mother but it's not important um oh my God. his name is peter That's why you but we call, him Peta. we call him peter we call him peter 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 but yeah he has little overalls and he's a cute little angel baby and i sleep with him every night and i can't sleep without him so that's just a little bit about me i love that. thanks for coming i love that i have watching trisha paytas for hours and let me stop everybody there before they're like we're all doing that Y'all barely even go here <laughs> because listen, it's only your third day. It's mom. only your third day because what I'm saying is, do you wake up at 4 a.m. and she's crying in the kitchen on your TV? That's different. That's different than watching like her just Trish right now. I love that. I love her and Oscar also. Shout out to that. But I love her a lot. And it just, I don't know. She's Haley goes to sleep 
with with the tv on with the, the tv on, on and it's just trash every time like yeah i guess that that is like yeah a guilty pleasure is also like a lot of people will don't go to sleep with like their tv on and like that's okay i used to whenever i'm either down bad or doing amazing it's never like at the content moment i will go to sleep with like sound frequencies on um because mm-hmm. you either mm-hmm. really need them or you don't like i don't know what's going on there but if it's not sound frequencies it's the frequency of sometimes she hits really high <laughs> octaves. okay so it's it's so good and um just to wake up in the middle of the night and look at that i know i'm at home you wake up and it's um oscar in the oopa loopa and costume. i wouldn't want to be anywhere else <laughs> and i love that wouldn't so, have much. It so i love that i also have those memes going around i don't i'm a tough crowd sometimes if something's not like a moving video you know what i mean like if it's like a photo with words i'm never like if you show it to me i'm like, like oh. like i just it's just hard to like make me okay. giggle at that but like I think I sent you like one or two of them. We will insert just like one photo of them that way that y'all know like what I'm talking about. But I think that it's so funny and it's like my shit's probably not gonna load. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's these. Have you seen these? Oh yes, okay. it's the little. And it's like the two guys or whatever. And it's all the time. It's like I was eating and it's the other sound being like big back. And then it's like I'm gonna like will you marry me? And they're like, like not in my engaged era. Not me being proposed. And to. my yeah. favorite is whenever they're like, um, will you marry me? And they're like not getting engaged. Level impossible. <laughs> like that's so fucking funny. Like I was on the plane really laughing at that and. That was really childish of me. I really I do like. love you, Haley, because sometimes your humor does get millennial. I can't lie to you. I'm gonna be so I know, and that's why I date old daddies. That's why. And I how's that been going? Ooh. <laughs> what were you gonna do with those little pop um, tops, babe? <laughs> you didn't have any more guilty pleasures. I didn't. I couldn't think of any. Just off. The that log. is just fine with me. One thing before I give y'all my little like how to pull a bad bitch in public tip. Um, reminder well i guess this is going to be posted after the new moon it doesn't matter but for us yeah. right now it is a new moon tonight so i hope you guys manifested when this comes out hope you didn't miss it hope yeah, you manifested in fucking frequencies and then added trisha to the queue because that's the only way to get there because trisha is actually a major fucking manifester she to is be she have her own little like spiritual room that moses everything yes and so I love cute that for them anyway i hope you guys set your intentions for the month and manifested your little and if you don't out. you're and probably gonna you be didn't. in fucking general admission for every festival Ooh. that you go to and you can't and i'm telling you whenever i walked into vip i think that the temperature dropped like three because it felt there was like a breeze i know they gave no right they have no like they the give filtered the air better air yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> they have better air up front they do <laughs> um anyway okay here's my little tip i'm actually gonna get you to film like on your what phone doing? yeah and then Perfect. we'll put it in there's something called a soda tab game and i'm pretty certain it was like a thing popular in like the 90s or something um you're filming my bad side right now. It's really freaking No, out. I just thought that you were throwing a shot at me. Like, filmed in the 90s. You think that's for drinking? No. Um, I think it was, like, a thing in the 90s, but it's, like, commonly with a beer can. Any kind of drink that has, like, a tab on top. Shout out Mixology. Thank you, girl. Um, anything that has a tab on top, it has to do with, like, popping the tab off. So here I'll show you. This is the three different, like, ways that they'll be popped off, and I'll tell you what they mean. Oh, my goodness. And she okay. lives by this. Everybody. And I live by this. This is how I, like get people at the bar um this is how you flirt and this is how you make sure nobody ever forgets you also i don't know if any of my past or present lovers is watching but if you are and i've done this to you you're not the first and you will not be the last and i'm so sorry to break it to you but anyway um so here they are this first one if you pop off your tab of your can and it breaks off like this with that little like half circle that is equivalent to like a hug and so you're supposed to the whole point is like to trade it with people you give it to someone they owe you a hug whatever this second one with that <laughs> the little... The boys in high school would love that. Where can I get my hug? They no, but it gets better. Us. No, but it gets better, mama. So this one with the little loop, if you pop it off like that, um, that means a kiss. So you give it to someone, for example. And now she, now she has her <laughs> Um, But we'll do that off camera later. And then this one, if you get it with that little circle in the middle, which is really hard to do, that means... Um, but so, you know, you, ch- you cash it in, you cash you it cash in to, it some in. Um, it in to someone you want to, you know, um, but here's my super secret lesson for you guys. I'm going to show you how to get the sex tab every single time because it's really hard to do. And I have a special technique that way you can teach it to other people you want to have sex with. And then every time they see a can at all, they'll remember you. They'll think about you. So um, basically they can't breathe exactly we're gonna use the mixology can so whenever you want to get the sex tab you're gonna turn her around like that towards you 
because it's a good angle we're uh -huh, getting your kids. Okay. And then you're just gonna push straight down on the top. It's gonna be really embarrassing if, if you don't get it. It will though. You should do it. Okay. Well, anyway, so work. um, you push straight down until it like tears the actual cam like that. I don't know if you, you can use really a little see. force. Yeah, I use, use a little force. Sometimes I be cutting my finger. This exact actually. You gotta just you gotta do that. Anyway, um, then you pull well. straight up, which is kind of hard, and I'm a little bit greasy right now, so. Just know that that's what you would do. But just know. Hold on. Wait. No, I'm going to get it. Wait. We'll speed this part up. Don't worry about it. Boom. Got it. There you go, babes. There you are. And oh if anyone God. wants to have sex with me, find me that's at the bar. That's what you have to do. Bring me do a drink. Do you know how to break it off Bring and just say, like, I love you if you, like, don't like them? I mean, that's just, like, you know how you do the regular, like, bend back and forth? Uh -huh. Like, when you're playing with one, that does that the, just like, pops yeah. But, or you can literally just, like, take the middle part off if you wanted. If you don't like them that bad. Here, you keep that one. I'm going to save it for a just special for a day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need it. I keep, like, a whole collection of them on my nightstand. Uh, not my nightstand. My windowsill. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. That's what that is. That's what they are. I noticed are. it. And I was like, how many Diet Cokes did are you have tonight? Are we going to kiss right now? Mm, I think we're going to close this out and then do that. So. <laughs> Wait, can we, like, cut super the video? Like, that was our super short episode for today because we're sleepy and tired and really not in the mood. Um. But we love you so much. But thank you so much for coming. Peace and love. We'll be better next time. We will insert the videos. Yes. Um, and we got to cash in our tags. And now we're so. going to kiss. So. We love you. Bye.